Attitude Era podcast. Uh, we got a really special episode. We're here at the Wrestling Universe, which you guys got to check out. We always get a bunch of awesome interviews here, awesome comics, awesome figures. And right now we're here with the legend, someone who's super inspiring. Uh, and I'm actually matching. I'll never be dressing well for these, but I had to for this one. Because right now we got the legend, Savio Vega. Thank you for doing this, man. Thank you Thank for being you. here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So let's jump right into it. On this show, we've also interviewed Mark Henry. Good. And we've interviewed The Godfather, part of a stable yeah. you were in. Yeah. The Nation BSK. of Domination. And the BSK. And the and that was a, a follow-up yeah. question. But first, yeah. what's it like being in the nation, such a historical stable? Well, when they... Uh, decide to you know turn me heel uh and go with the uh, uh, nation of domination well i say let's let's do it you know something different and uh of course i've been a heel all my life and come back to be a heel and and do a lot better you know feel comfortable and, and i love it i love i love the nation nation was uh at one point so strong the people from outside uh, send letters. Uh, no fans, uh, governments. Oh, uh, governments. Yes, and uh, was little trouble with uh, with the nation. The nation had trouble with the government. Well, no, well, not with the government. What what we doing was like uh, you know maybe bother some people. Oh, okay. Some gaga, you know, which is stupid, but. You know, that happened. <laughs> so I had to ask, because we asked this to everyone who's been on the nation who's interviewed, mm -hmm. who's a better leader, the Rock or Farouk? Well, Farouk always was the leader. And, I, and uh, uh, Rock was the leader way after I left. Mm -hmm. I was already in the Boricuas, you know, and uh, uh, doing other stuff. But always the, 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 the leader of that was Farouk. Yeah. So I got I got to follow up. Why why he do you like that, man? Why he kicked you out of the nation? You know he's uh, he's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> That's a great answer. He's crazy. damn. Damn. <laughs> so another person we've interviewed here at the legendary Wrestle Universe is Rakishi, Ooh. who you were also part of a crew with with the Godfather. Mis, mis hermanos, my brothers. That's right. And a lot of people might not know because this wasn't an on TV crew, but the Bone Street crew. Can you describe what that is and who was part of it? Well, the, the people know who who part of it is. I mean, you got Rikishi right there. You got the Godfather. You got the late Yokozuna, the late uh, Fuji, Wada, Mr. Fuji, uh, Paul Bear, uh, Crush. You got the Garwins. You got I uh, mentioned Godfather, no? Yeah. I mean, you got that crew, man. That's that's the that's the family right there. And, uh, and we still today talking to each other, and, and you know, once in a while. So, uh, I mean, and what was Bone Street Crew? It's a brotherhood, right? I mean, that's a brotherhood between us. We love each other, we take care of each other when we are on the road. I mean, uh, still today, uh, when we uh, uh, see each other for after what almost 23, 24 years, uh, for the uh, uh, inducted of uh, Undertaker, right? Man, I mean, that was uh. I mean, the retirement, well, it's the retirement. Uh, I still remember, I mean, I love those guys, man. Yeah. The Garwins, the Yoko, I mean, we, we missed Yoko big time. Uh, Rikichi, Papa, Taker, I mean, great people. It's dope to have a brotherhood yeah. like that, that extends great to people. behind the scenes instead yeah. of just on screen. By the way, we are right now watching IWA Puerto Rico. Check All on right. IWA Puerto Rico. That's my company in Puerto Rico. Go on YouTube and put IWA Puerto Rico. Subscribe and check it out. It's That's live right. right now. Making history. And you know, a lot of people don't know how much history you actually made in I wrestling. Some. I got some. For example, this man is the first person to pin Stone Cold in WWF. What's up, yeah, and the Rock too. And, the, and I was going to bring that up. What is it like to have these legendary victories? The first person to pin Stone Cold and The Rock. Well, like I said to, to the guys on WWF, the bomb, I said, well, they put me over, they give the money to them. Well, we'll switch that around. <laughs> it was okay. I mean, by the time, uh, we don't know that we're going to make it bigger and bigger, you know, we're on the road to, to there. Uh, of course, Stone Cold and, and The Rock. And uh, you look back, you, know you go like, wow. I mean, it's a path that they have so. to walk. Mm -hmm. And uh, they went through. Like and uh, they, they've been choosed to, to do what, you know, they have to do. And uh, 
in the other side, the other hands, yeah, right. you have right. other people that the, the help that to happen. I'll never right. So, you know, <laughs> um, right. happy for that. <laughs> happy for my <laughs> my you. job, my work, what I did. You know, it's good. Okay. And what was it like when you saw them become what they became, the height of the attitude? Happy, right? of course. I, I cannot be. I cannot be different. Happy because uh, they make it the way they did it. The way that was built was the right way that to build. Right. Like uh, when uh, The Rock was the baby face and, and WWF wanna push him so hard that the people start saying Rocky sucks. I mean, when that happened, the best thing they did was turn him heel. Right. I mean, I come from Puerto Rico and, and, and I was ahead of a lot of things, but you know, that's the company, that's the office. And listen, that's the best thing they did. Turn him heel to turn him baby face. Boom, look at him right now. Right. And so something else I wanted to, to talk about real quick is how you became known to the wrestling audience. There's a thing in wrestling, you know, they put the don't try this at home. Yeah. We know the stories of fans who jump over. Yeah. You're not supposed to do that. If you are a fan, don't interfere. However, that worked for you. Yeah. You were, you interfered as the childhood friend of Razor Ramon. What was that like to, as your big debut to the wrestling that, world? That happened in uh, Syracuse, New York. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, Razor Ramon. Uh, rest in peace is whole uh man being uh been a friend of mine he's the one take you know have me here in the and have me in a company for a lot of time and uh we we work a lot of times in puerto rico we wrestle many many times uh here in the in, i mean the wwf too happy happy because uh in that moment i was out of the mask as coin Right. And and the, the people are gonna see a new new guy, new guy on the block, uh, brand new kid. Who the hell is him? I come, you know, I'm coming already with the few years of background in, in, in Taekwondo and in wrestling too. So it was like, a, ooh, what happened with this guy? And I did what I did. It's like a, we talk Quan, the character Quan. I love that character. I I, I you know what I, I noticed the character was uh, hot. Mm -hmm. And and the people believe in that character. When I did a match with the uh, Brett, uh, was taped. I remember that that, that weekend was taped. That's a one 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 week uh, live right. and one week tape. So we tape it. Uh, a week after we come back for t uh, you know live TV, and everybody was hey thank you hey, good 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 congratulations. For what the heck? So they say the match that I did with uh, Brett on on tape break the record that time oh wow so if that happened that told me that the people believe in that ca character could be bred in that moment to go to another thing right but of course he was in the path with the uh, Japanese guy for a pay-per-view or something like that mm -hmm. which wow. is understand but the other way around could be what worked too and so what led to changing because you said you like being Quang, you like yeah, your character. Yeah, yeah. What led from the change to Quang to a more just you instead of wearing a mask? Well, uh, the change, the you know, the timing to wrestle in WWF by that time and uh, have the mask on. Mm -hmm. I already, uh, you know, I work, I started in the beginning with the mask. I went to Mexico uh, wearing a mask too. Uh, then Puerto Rico just the paint and come back and then start with the WWF with the with a mask. It's like well on and off. I mean till I just get adjusted to the mask again. Hey, nobody stopped me. Right. I actually didn't plan this, but while we're talking about mass wrestlers, one of the greatest mass wrestlers, Rey Mysterio, just got yes. inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, what was that like, like for you? Did you enjoy watching that? Brother, yes, I see that and uh, happy. Yeah. You know and and. and I mean, happy because he, he continued to wrestle, you know, mm -hmm. and, and he was on Raw the next day. Yeah, yes, yes. And uh, happy, brother. Happy, happy, happy for him. Uh, hope uh, they continue doing it and uh, he can he continue. Uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, making it big. Absolutely. Now I see I see something the the story with his kid too. Oh yeah. Well, which I love. I love. Uh, the story hey, I love that. Yeah. You know, working with my kid or something like that is like wow. Right. I, I have the opportunity to do it with my brother, you know, but with a, with a kid, it's, it's a lot different. We also interviewed Carlito, another, I believe he's from Puerto Rico as well, and he yeah. said his favorite part was working with Primo, his brother, that was, yeah. a, that was some of his favorite stuff. Of course. So let's take a, a jump back real quick to 95. You actually beat Yokozuna 
and you came in second place in King of the Ring to yeah. Mabel. What was yeah. that experience like? Nice. I mean, uh, also, you could add to the point where you say that I was the first one to beat this guy. I was the first wrestler in the whole period and wrestled four times in one night. Who? Oh, in the King of the Ring? Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, then after that was, uh, uh, I believe, Sean or Triple H, they did it. So, uh, I mean, I, like I told you, I come in from the character doing Quine, jump on, on, do the character as well, Savio Vega. I was sharp in the ring with, with everything, you know? And uh, I remember they took uh, uh, Jack Lance, that was my agent. Mm -hmm. And man, he just talked to me and it goes straight there and we did what I have to do. Awesome. Um, so another kind of, inf we're, we're called the Attitude Era Podcast. That's uh -huh. the, the era we love the most. Well, first, do you have a favorite Attitude Era moment? Wow. Well, the best moment all the time was when my check arrived home. To be honest, that <laughs> was every week. I was a happy moment. So you, you have know? a favorite moment every week. Oh, yeah, well, I have, I have, I mean, I was, I believe I born for this. Uh, I mean, we could talk many, many hours for that, but I don't have no time for that, and you neither. So, uh, and that, that big level of all those, this, uh, you know, whatever question is coming in my book. Oh, okay. It's a book. Uh, on the making but telling you man I love wrestling love what I'm doing and then get paid for that get pay uh, airplanes to go all, all over the world uh, wrestling and knowing you know other countries and whatever that's happy that's I mean I love that uh, and uh, people sometimes ask me if you want to get you do it again so, of course yes yeah. why not fuck I have fun right. I mean up and downs but you need to learn from that and make it better. That's it. Right. And so I brought up the attitude era because I wanted to bring up another one more infamous moment you were part mm. of, the brawl for all. Yeah. What was it? And that was like actual kind of real fights and stuff. What was it like being part of the brawl well, for all? We was, also talked about it. It was a real fight. <laughs> yeah, right. It was real fight. It was real no count. Mm. Uh, I love it. I love it. When the Bruce Pritchard called me, I wasn't home doing therapy on my neck because I was hurt. And uh, he he told hey, give me the rules and I said you want you in I said yeah I'm in of course, so okay, uh, that took maybe three months after that. Then uh, I did my first fight. Then I didn't even fight for almost three or four months later because I got hurt again, you know. And uh, after that I got really hurt and out, you know. But uh, love love what I'm doing. Uh, that that uh, I mean. He said the commentary somewhere where they're talking about uh, we sit down to make the rules because they don't have no rules. They don't know what the hell they're going to do. Right. And the guy said, well, we're not, we're not going to use the kicks because how are we going to kill everybody? <laughs> so uh, those just you know, take downs and punches. And, What's well, good. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Awesome. So my last question. Lost my question second you. fight. Lost the second yes. one. But you got through the first one. Yay. My, my last question for you. Uh, a lot of people came to know and love you from WWF, WWE. Yeah. Are we going to see you back there? And if so, who? Uh, so if you're going to see me where? Are know? we going to see you back in WWE making your return? Uh, return, <laughs> please. I mean, I'm too old for them, and uh, it's going to be like uh, something possible. I mean. Well, who, who would you uh, wrestle if you did have your return? I don't know, whoever they put me in front of me, I guarantee you it's gonna be a good story because I'm gonna make sure with the experience, you know, the, 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 the road show me, there need to be something done to, to get uh, a good, you know, uh, reaction from the crowd and try to be the best match, uh, best match all night long. Awesome. Well, thank you so much thank for you. coming and sharing these stories. IWA Puerto Rico. Remember the IWA Puerto Rico. And the book. On YouTube. And, and the, the book. book. Yeah. On the and way. check uh, Rom's, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, ESS for more, more, more information about Savio Bank. And Wrestling Universe. Don't forget. Awesome signings. I was a Money in the Bank winner. I had the briefcase with me. I was riding with Matt Hardy. I get a phone call from Michael Hayes. Where are you? Come back. Vince needs to talk to you in his office. Come back, 